we are going to use a form of scientific notation. True scientific notation has one number, a decimal point, a couple, couple of decimal points, times for multiplication, 10 to some power, okay? And what we want, we don't want to have any decimals here. We want to have a whole number, okay? So look at number one. I'd like for that to be 152 times 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to the negative nine. That's how you write that number in scientific notation. Number two, and it's negative exponent because you move the decimal to the right. Number two, I'd like for that to be 28,000, I'm sorry, 28 times 10. The decimal's here. Let's move it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you moved it to the left, so it's a positive exponent. And that makes sense. If you had 28, if you want to turn, turn that into a larger number, you're going to have to multiply by a bit, pretty big number. 10 to the negative 9, is, that's 1 over 10 to the 9th. So you're making the number smaller. Look at number 3. Start with what's underneath the inside radical, and that's a cube root. And let's make that 64 times 10 and move that decimal all the way over to here and that's going to be 12 places so negative 12. now take the square root and let's take the cube root what times what times what will give you 64. 4 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. so that's going to be 4 times 10 to the 3 divided into a negative 12 is a negative 4. Now let's get rid of the square root. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 divided into negative 4 is a negative 2. So it's 2 times negative 2. And that's 2 times 1 over 10 squared. That's how you get rid of negative exponents. And that's 2 over 100, which is 1 over 50. Now number 4 looks like a real GMAT problem, okay? Let's switch all those to scientific notation. That's going to be 2 times 10 to the 5th. And that's going to be 6 times 10 to the negative 2 divided by 3 times 10 to the negative 7. So what I've got, I've got a 2 and a 6 in the numerator. And remember, when you multiply like bases, you add your exponents. 5 minus 2 would be 10 to the 3rd. And let's just write that over 3 times 10 to the negative 7. Now, 3 will go into 6 two times. So that's going to be 4 times 10 cubed. Let's move this to the opposite place it's in to make the sign of the exponent positive. That would be 10 to the 7th. And that's 4 times 10, add your exponents to the 10th. And I'm just going to leave it like that. If I wanted to turn it into an actual number, I would just add 10 zeros.